Hello everyone, I'm Jess from Travel Gossip and I am very excited to be here with New South Wales Roadshow Partners for an exciting in-person Take 5 series. To kick things off, we have got some Sydney icons to say <laughs> the very least. So we have um, Kat joining us from Sydney Opera, Opera House. Yes, Hi. hello. <laughs> um, as well as Marie from um, Sydney, from Bridge Climb. Yes, that's great. <laughs> great, thank you for um, being here with us. Um, so, did you want, want to kick things off by telling us what is the best way for your visitors to experience your two attractions? Yeah, I'll start with the Sydney Opera House. So obviously one of Australia's most iconic destinations, not just New South Wales. Um, we, uh, I personally, in my opinion, really love the backstage tour is it's a really great way for you to be able to go behind the scenes, see a little bit around dressing rooms, um, rehearsal spaces, really learn what happens behind the scenes, have breakfast in our green room with performers and artists all moving around and then you're all wrapped up by 10 a.m. So you can actually, I Tearize the rest of your day, maybe go and do bridge climb or something. I love it. <laughs> um, but it's such a unique way to actually really go and see the opera house and a different side of it. Great, and Marie, what would you recommend when they've got the whole day after the breakfast? <laughs> 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 the opera house. Well, I recommend the best thing to experience Sydney Harbour Bridge is to do a door on a bridge climb. So actually the day after you've been to the Opera House, it's a really special time of day to climb. So you set off in the dark and then you're climbing on the arches of the bridge when the sun pops up. It's absolutely amazing. So you get to experience the Sydney Harbour Bridge at night and during the day. It really is such a magical um, time of day to climb. It really sets you off. For a great day. Yeah, that sounds incredible. Makes makes the climbing more more worth it, I'm sure as well. Um, you've both had some special birthdays recently, and I'm talking about your attractions, not not yourselves. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've had the um, 50th anniversary for Sydney Sydney Opera House, um, and with Sydney Harbour Bridge, you've had your 90th birthday last year, if yes. I'm right. Um, so what did you guys do to to mark these? Um, yeah milestones we've just had a calendar of events for the last year leading up to our 50th birthday in october um we had so much on in october was our big pinnacle celebration where we had an open weekend we had thousands of guests come through the house to just see it um from the inside and yeah it's been an absolutely whirlwind of a celebration um because no one celebrates without a party really <laughs> celebrating style yeah for sure and marie yeah, and the Sydney Harbour Bridge celebrated its 90th birthday in March last year, so we celebrated in style. So we did a really special offer, so it was $90 off all adult climbs if you climbed on the day. And we had a pop-up celebration bar at Bridge Climb, so all climbers who climbed on a special day got the opportunity to pop into the bar afterwards and enjoy a refreshing gin and tonic courtesy of Hendrix Gin. So amazing celebrations. We have birthday cakes and yeah, all sorts going on. Oh, incredible! And yeah, good, good drink choice. I'm on board with that one. Um, and just to wrap up today, ladies, is there anything um, new you've got in the pipeline that um, our viewers should have on on their radar? Oh, new in the pipeline. <laughs> um, I will speak about one of our new products that we just kind of opened up this year. So um, in July, Minim by Mark Olive opened up um, overlooking uh, the harbour and the bridge it's our beautiful our fresco style dining restaurant um it's with ambassador chef mark olive he uh, is an indigenous um australian chef and uses native australian ingredients infused throughout the menu so it's an absolute culinary delight you can use it in our experience package menu um as an experience package product which is a private guided tour and then having dinner um so it's a great way if you do do the dawn bridge climb to then do that at night instead Loving the tea yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Marie. <laughs> Have you got anything? Um, Sorry, my mind just went. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, what's up and coming? Yeah. yeah, so we've got two brand new experiences. So we've got the Borrower Climb, which is an Indigenous experience. So your tour guide is a First Nation storyteller. So you learn about all the different stories of the amazing Sydney Harbour and the icons in the harbour itself. Wow. And we've also got the new Ultimate Climb. So this is a climb which goes right over to the other side of the bridge. It's three and a half hours long and 1,600 steps. 
So it's an amazing experience. We've already climbed the bridge and you want to do something different. Oh, incredible. Thank you so, so much for sharing this with us, guys. And we're going to be sharing your contact details and links um, so that our agents can obviously find out more because this is so exciting. But for today, that's, that's it. So thank you for joining thank us. Thank you for having us. Bye, guys. Yeah.